So last year, we started to produce a podcast for a regional healthcare client. Uh, their CEO was going to serve as the host and planned to interview a variety of innovative healthcare leaders. Problem though, is that we and the client struggled to get several of the initial interviews booked. What we did was turn to WorldCom and we asked our partners if they could recommend any of their clients who would fit the mold for a perfect interview candidate. They answered the call and we ended up with several, I think upwards of about a dozen or more potential interview guests, ended up picking five that came from WorldCom for season one and that really served as the stimulus for getting the podcast's production underway and season one now in the books with great results. So we found that it's not enough anymore for a single person, a single voice to be the only voice for an organization. A lot of what we're doing today instead is around empowering employees or the members of a trade association or other advocacy group to be able to speak up on behalf of that organization, to be able to have consistent, cohesive messaging, regardless of who is going to speak. Because at the end of the day, everyone is an advocate, is an evangelist and a salesperson for a brand and has to have all the right tools to raise their points of action and their victories into the public spotlight. So over the last couple of years, as have most PR firms, our public announcements and news conferences went virtual. But when we had a client recently that was planning to open a predominantly virtual reality-based school, we knew that we couldn't use the same virtual tactics that other clients had used in the past. So we went very much outside the box and produced the first, to our knowledge, virtual reality news conference. Putting people, reporters, public leaders and others into a fully immersive experience so that they could tour the school and hear from its leaders in an entire virtual reality format. Putting reporters, especially in many cases for the first time, in the metaverse to get a fully immersive view of what the future of education looks like. That was such a light bulb moment for a lot of journalists that we talked to and it connected the dots and created a breakthrough moment to where the media stopped and actually took note of this great innovation and were able to cohesively and clearly tell that story to their audiences.